in the slide on uh, potential energy minimization, we saw that the material property that appears um, in the mathematical model is the Young's modulus E. The Poisson's ratio is effectively assumed to be zero, so that you know we don't really need to enter that in answers, even though answers will ask us to enter it. Um, so let's enter the Young's modulus. If I go to mechanical and I highlight the line body, I see that the assignment, material assignment, is structural steel. So right now, in the mathematical model, the value of E that's being used is the value for structural steel. We need to change that. So to do that, go to the project page and double click on engineering data. And you need to add a new material. So I'll click here to add a new material. You can call it whatever you want. I'll call it go big red for big red Cornell, enter. And the material property that I have is, uh, is it's under isotropic elasticity. So I'll drag that on here and expand it. Okay, Young's modulus is 2.8 e to the power of 10 Pascals. Answers ask you to enter the Poisson ratio, but it shouldn't affect our results, and we can check that because the Poisson ratio, you know, is is uh, effectively set to zero in the model. Okay, but I'll enter it so that answers won't complain. And a good check is, you know, to change that and and rerun the the solution once you have everything set up and see that it doesn't affect. Check that it doesn't affect the results. And then now if I go to, I can dismiss this or I can keep the tab. And if I go to the project tab, uh, I'll see that I get this refresh symbol over here. It says, hey, something upstream has changed. Do you want to read that in? I'll say yes. So I'll right click and I'll say refresh. And it read in this, you know, this new material in here. And now I can access it. So if I go now over here, I'll see that I can assign this new material, go big red. And now in the, in the potential energy expression, you know, you're specifying the right value of E. Let's move on to specifying the boundary conditions next. Before that, save your project.